Hello guys, it's me Carza today, Capricorn FM, and welcome to another edition of My Racing Career Mode. So, here I am at Indy Oval, so I'm going to do some testing today, run a few laps in the next gen car for the Cup Series, and, and do it from there, so I'm like the only car on the track, just making laps, do, like do six to eight laps, and put it back in and call it a day, so, so yeah, it's just roaming around, to see if I can uh, improve my lap time, which, you know, it'd rather be 50 seconds or 51 second range for the pros that run this race track in the NASCAR Cup Series, but since it's the next gen car, the cars might be a lot slower, so see around 52 to 54 seconds, I bet. So, and to let you guys know, I got a chance to do some next gen racing at Oval, eh, at Indies. I meant to say Indy Oval, but uh, sorry, you guys. So, like, yeah. There's a reason why the Cup Series hasn't driven on the oval version of Indy because they wanted to like try something new and do the road course, but then people realized that they huh, screwed things up and said, "Hey, how are we ever gonna get race fans to come to the Indy Napolis Motor Speedway?" And that is bring back the oval. It's the 30th anniversary of the Cup Series. Entering this track and welcoming NASCAR's boy Jeff Gordon, you know, because he originally from Vallejo, California, but when he was a teen, he wanted to move to Indiana to resume his racing career and do his sprint cars, you know, like USAC and all that. And when he had deals to drive in IndyCar, it didn't happen, but. Said he chose NASCAR, so he drove for Bill Davis for the Bush series and then did a few years of that and then got picked up by Rick Kendrick to drive in the number 24 DuPont Chevy for the NASCAR Cup series. So, and history was made there. So, when you think of Indianapolis Winter Speedway, a lot of people say Jeff Gordon's the man. So, I mean. His dream of being in the Cup Series, like, he always wanted to run the Indianapolis Wonder Speedway, the Oval One, and he was the first guy to win the inaugural race, so, 1994, and, and for me to, like, run on this racetrack in the next round car is drastically different, so, basically, it's just, dream come true and I'm just glad I didn't get NR2003 when Papyrus made the game. Just get it from iRacing and do it from there, so. Well, I'll stop commentating here because I want to get going with my YouTube videos that I've uploaded earlier in the week, so. So it's the Indie Oval test and South Boston, I believe, for the Arca series. So, if you want to keep up with my iRacing content, don't forget to click on that bell notification button so you can get future videos from my YouTube channel, Happy Car i 5 So, keep in touch with me if you want to get more NASCAR related content. So, I make Happy Car i 5 Happy holidays, Merry Christmas, New Year's. Peace out.
Korea. So we're coming to the end of my YouTube video right now, so give a thumbs up button if you like the video so much. Click on that bell button to subscribe for more content and if you saw the recent video interesting, share the comment right below the description so you can share some thoughts and feelings with everybody in the community and make them feel welcome. So I make a happy Corona 95. You'll have a great day and peace out.